There are many different ways to invest in the stock market. In fact, there are many successful and safe ways. You can invest in the S&P 500. You can invest in specific industries. In fact, you can invest in the total US market. Or you can invest in certain types of individual stocks. But in today's video, we are gonna take a look at how investing $100,000 in SCHD can be life-changing over time. If you don't know by now, by watching my previous videos, I like the idea of investing in dividend stocks. I like the idea of building passive income and utilizing the power of compounding. This doesn't go on to say that I don't invest or don't like investing in gross stocks. In fact, I do have a number of gross stocks, but my favorite type is dividend stocks. And if you are looking for a more hands-off approach to investing, you can invest in ETFs, otherwise known as exchange traded funds. You can think of these as a basket of stocks. They have thousands of ETFs to choose from, some that are focused on the S&P 500, the total market, or specific industries like we are talking about. In fact, they have ETFs that are based on specific types of stocks, which is exactly what SCHD is, or the Schwab US Dividend ETF. And we are gonna take a closer look at SCHD and see how investing over time up to $100,000 can create life-changing wealth. But before we begin, do me a huge favor and click that like button down below, subscribe to the channel as we continue to grow our community of like-minded investors. And with that being said, let's get started. Hey everyone, Mark Rusin here, back for another video. As always, I'm a CPA and not a financial advisor, so please do not take this as financial advice and please perform your own due diligence. And before we get started, let me take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is The Motley Fool. The Motley Fool is a great resource and they have a ton of great tools for investors of all levels. And right now, if you go to fool.com forward slash mark, you could sign up to receive their 10 best stocks to buy right now. As you may have seen in other social media posts or other videos I have done, SCHD by far is my favorite dividend focused ETF. It's very well-rounded. It's diversified across a number of different industries. It's a low cost ETF, which means I'm not gonna be paying huge amounts of expense fees. It has a great dividend yield, a strong dividend growth rate, and it also has great performance compared to the S&P 500. Speaking of performance, and more importantly, the S&P 500, which is one of the best and safest ways to invest long-term. In fact, the S&P 500, for those of you that do not know, is made up of 500 of the best US stocks. SCHD, on the other hand, invests in many of these S&P 500 companies, but they do not have 500 positions. However, the ETF has been able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the S&P 500 over the past five years. And with that allows for great opportunities when it comes to the power of compounding dividends. If you recall, the power of compounding dividends is when you get paid a dividend from owning a specific stock or an ETF and you take that dividend payment and reinvest it into the security which adds even more shares to your share profile. So now if this specific ETF or dividend stock increases their dividend, not only are you getting a higher dividend rate, but you already have higher shares now. So you can see how that power of compounding builds a dividend snowball in your favor. This is a process that you do year in and year out. And the year one, year two, year three, the dividend income will be very small. But if you stick with it and you're a patient investor, that snowball will get moving faster and faster and you will see that dividend income skyrocket. So this is why I always get the question and this is always my answer. They always say, is dividend investing just for retirement? Well, if you wanna utilize the power of compounding, I'm looking to build a plan for retirement, to get to retirement and early retirement. So that's why I'm investing in dividend stocks right now and utilizing the power of compounding. Again, the power of compounding is giving me more shares without adding any additional money to my investment account. But we all have to start somewhere, whether that's investing just $100, $1,000, or even $10,000. It is a process that you need to stick with long-term and you will reap the rewards, or more specifically, the dividends. Right now, if you bought $10,000 worth of SCHD today, the ETF currently yields 
a dividend of 3.74%, which would equate to year one dividend income of $374. SCHD trades at a per share price of $70.59, which means you could buy an additional 5.3 shares to add to your share count after taking in the year one dividend income. Looking here, you can see that SCHD also has a five-year dividend growth rate of 15.56% per year to go along with their 3.74% dividend yield. Before we look at some examples, let's take a closer look at the makeup of SCHD. As I mentioned, SCHD is a well-rounded ETF with exposure to numerous industries. The top five industries, along with their exposure for the ETF, include industrial, which accounts for 17.55% exposure, healthcare, 16.06%, consumer defensive, 14.22%, financials 14.02% and technology rounding out the top five at 12.56%. These top five sectors account for 74.4% of SCHD. Next, let's take a look at the top 10 positions, which include PepsiCo, which accounts for 4.59% exposure, Broadcom 4.45%, Merck and Company 4.37%, Coca-Cola Company, 4.34%, The Home Depot, 4.2%, Cisco Systems, 4.07%, Texas Instruments, 4%, along with Verizon Communications at 4%, Abvi at 3.98%, and Chevron rounding out the top 10 at 3.92%. These top 10 holdings account for nearly 42% of SCHD, and in totality, SCHD has a total of 104 positions. Next, let's take a look at the power of compounding and look at an example on how you can get that dividend snowball moving in your favor. In this example, we are assuming a 12% return, which is less than their five-year and 10-year average rates. So trying to be a little bit more conservative when looking at this example. If we assume the same dividend growth rate, SCHD would go from paying a year one dividend of $2.64 per share in annual dividends to paying $3.05 per share the following year. In this example, we will reinvest our dividends, but add no additional money to the pot. So in year one, as we saw, we will have about 142 shares, which pay us that $374. That will add an additional five new shares and we will now be earning $448 in dividend income in year two, between both having more shares and that 15% dividend increase. Again, these are hypotheticals, but we are going off historical averages and even being a little bit more conservative in terms of returns. If we continue doing this for the next seven years, and you can see how the dividend income will go from $374 in year one originally to roughly $2,000 in annual dividend income by year 10. And this is all because you invested $10,000, which it may take some time to get there to $10,000, but I, I know that there'll be people that'll be investing much more than that, and there'll be people that'll be investing much less than that. So I just picked this $10,000 rate and showing you an example on how you can get that snowball moving in your favor. But in this example is just investing the original 10,000, adding no more money from your bank account into that $10,000 pot and just reinvesting your dividends each and every year. So going from year one to year 10, we could reach nearly $2,000 in annual dividend income. That is some good money, but that is not life-changing money. So let's take a look at another example, which puts the power of compounding into overdrive. And before we move on, let me tell you about a special promotion over at Webull. Right now, Webull is celebrating their fifth year anniversary and they are giving away double rewards, which means you could receive up to 24 free stocks valued up to $3,000 each. Definitely check out this special promotion. The link will be down in the description below. In this example, we will start with our original $10,000 investment. We are going to reinvest our dividends the same way we just did in the first example, but the change now that we're going to make is we are going to add an additional $5,000 investment each and every year into SCHD. So on top of reinvesting our dividends each and every year and adding an additional $5,000 per year, which accounts for roughly $415 per month, if you wanna break it out into monthly, that's nearly half of what the average auto loan payment is in the US today. 
So let's take a look at how this example turns out. So in year one, we would have that same $374 in annual dividend income, but in year two, we will reinvest the five additional shares that we bought with that 374 in year one, but now we're also adding the $5,000 of fresh money into our investing pot, which will add even more shares, bringing up our total share count from 147 in the previous example to about 218 in this example, which equates to annual year two dividend income of $664, $220 more than the first example. So now moving down to year three, we will surpass the $1,000 in annual dividend income. And by year five, we will surpass what took a decade in the first example, bringing in nearly $2,000 in annual dividend income. Moving on, you will see that by year 12, we will surpass $10,000 in annual dividend income, bringing in $11,055. And if we continue doing this for 19 years, waiting is generally the hardest part, but by year 19, we will have $100,000 of fresh money invested, not counting any reinvested dividends. We will now own nearly 1,400 shares of SCHD when we started with just 141 shares at the beginning. And our annual dividend income will now be nearly $50,000 per year, which is about the average annual salary for an individual in the US. That is some major coin right there, and that can be life-changing. This is just through that period of time. Imagine if that period of time extends and continues to go. This is money that you can definitely live off of. Allowing your money to work for you and to compound over time. $100,000 in SCHD, like I said, can be life-changing. And the great part of all of this, SCHD in this example, is just gonna be one part of your portfolio. You need to diversify your portfolio. So maybe have some S&P 500 exposure. You'll have this SCHD exposure. And maybe you'll have some individual stocks as well. But you put in the work. And I understand it's a process to get there. You may not have $10,000 to invest in SCHD right now. So like I said, start with 100 and build up over time to get there. But you can see in this example how adding a little money each and every year, each and every month can start compounding in your favor. Again, these are all hypotheticals and everything isn't gonna play exactly out to this, but I just wanted to show you how that power of compounding and how utilizing that with a ETF, my favorite dividend ETF in fact, of SCHD can create life-changing money. And for those of you that are wondering what my plan is, I look to add to SCHD each and every month, even if that means increasing my average cost basis. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and down in the comment section below, let me know what is your annual goal of dividend income. And with that being said, again, if you haven't done so yet, smash that like button down below and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.